I'm Matthew Galgani with a quick look at how to buy stocks as they break out of a three weeks tight. Here's what a three weeks tight looks like on a weekly chart. It's considered an alternative or follow on buying opportunity because a three weeks tight typically forms after a stock has already broken out of a cup with handle or other primary pattern. The stock goes up for a while then pauses to digest those gains. It trades essentially sideways for three weeks and each weekly closing price is within about 1% of the prior week's close. That's tight, healthy trading. It means that the large institutional investors who bought on the earlier breakout are not selling to take their profits. They're holding because they expect more from the stock. And they're likely quietly picking up more shares as the three weeks tight forms. These fund managers and other big investors establish very large positions. So the three weeks tight is an opportunity for them to add shares within a tight range. And that helps them keep their average cost per share down. The ideal buy point in a three weeks tight is 10 cents above the peak in the formation. That's the most recent area of resistance. And we add 10 cents just to make sure the stock is punching through that old resistance on heavy volume and not just bumping up against it. You want to see volume come in at least 40 to 50 percent higher than normal on the day of the breakout to confirm strong institutional buying. Let's see the three weeks tight in action. If you were checking the IBD 50, known as the IBD 100 at the time, as part of your weekend routine on February 27th or 28th, 2010, you would have come across Chipotle Mexican Grill. The analysis under the chart noted how it was 6% past a prior buy point, but had now formed a three weeks tight. That's just one example of how the IBD 50 alerts you to top rated stocks nearing a potential buying opportunity if you check that and other IBD lists regularly. This is what the three weeks tight looked like on Chipotle's weekly chart at the time. Here's where Chipotle broke out of an earlier cup shaped base, pulled back, then bounced higher and started forming the three weeks tight. Note how each weekly close was within 1% of the prior week's close. The buy point was 106.59, 10 cents above the peak in the formation. If you bought on the earlier breakout, the three weeks tight could be an opportunity to add shares. And if you missed the earlier breakout, it could be a chance to get in. As you can see here, Chipotle broke out the next week. On the day of a breakout, you want to see a nice spike in volume. The best way to see that is to look at the daily chart. So let's switch to that. Here's the peak in the three weeks tight on a daily chart. And here's where Chipotle broke out on March 1st, 2010. As you like to see on a breakout, the relative strength line was in new high territory, which tells you the stock is outperforming the rest of the market. And volume spiked higher. It was 41% higher than normal, meeting the minimum 40 to 50% spike you look for. And volume surged even higher the next day, further indicating strong institutional support. Let's see what happened next. On this weekly chart, you can see how after breaking out of the three weeks tight, Chipotle Mexican Grill went up over 145% in just nine months. So that's just one example of how the three weeks tight can offer a chance to buy into a potential big winner. Since it's considered a secondary or alternative buying opportunity, you want to buy fewer shares than you would from a cup with handle, double bottom, or flat base. To help improve your chart reading skills and build a timely watch list at the same time, be sure to regularly watch the daily stock analysis and market wrap videos at investors.com slash IBDTV. Thanks for watching.